I'm going to be taking a look at Black Myth Wukon. Uh, we do, the game's actually not out yet. It doesn't come out to the 20th of August. But we do have a, a free benchmark tool in Steam that you can download and have a look at the game performance. So I'm going to just have a quick look at that, see roughly how it does. Uh, I am on my 4080 Super, and I'm going to have a look at it at 4K. So got that resolution set there. Uh, then the graphic settings I've got. I'm going to do 4K native at first, probably do a couple of variations of settings. We'll maybe try ray tracing off as well at one point, and then with DLSS, I think it's got frame generation as well. Um, so at first, I'll do 4K native. So we've got the resolution scale set to 100%, so that's obviously native. I've got ray tracing on. We've got it set to the max, which is very high. And then the rest of the graphics are also maxed out, which the preset on here is cinematic. So I'll just show you the presets quick, but it's low, low, medium, high, very high cinematic. So we've got everything maxed out at that. Now, this game is Unreal Engine 5, so it's going to be interesting to see. I know it's been pretty poor performance in Unreal Engine 5 games, but I'll start the benchmark tool here. Do the first run. It's probably going to be brutal at, f at native 4K here with ray tracing maxed out. I know graphically the game looked pretty incredible, so I'm not expecting massive things from uh, this performance-wise. But we shall see. And we have got MSI open here. But look at this. 14 FPS. Oof. That's like path tracing levels of performance. But the game does graphically look pretty incredible. Reminds me a little bit of... Um, Ark Survival. Ark Survival Ascended, is it? The version in Unreal Engine 5? Because that was horrendous performance as well. But yeah, it looks like it's mostly going to sit around that 14 to 15. Some dips down to 13. See what some of the stats say at the end, but it looks like it's mostly going to be that. Which, to be honest, I think overall, I remember Alan Wake 2 with path tracing, with these kind of settings. It'd probably be half this, it'd probably be 7 or 8 FPS. So for sure, if you're going to want to run ray tracing on this at 4K, you're going to absolutely definitely need DLSS and frame generation. But once we get the proper game, I'll check it at 1440p as well. This is more just a quick look at it. Whilst we've got the benchmark tool. And I'll switch ray tracing off in the next run. Should hopefully sit quite a bit higher with ray tracing off. These graphics on the environment, though, looks great. Look at that. So that's it, is it? There we go. So average 14, minimum, minimum 12, maximum 18, I think that is. It's slightly behind my overlay. Low 5th, 12 FPS, so... Doesn't look stutter-wise, didn't look too bad. Like the lows aren't too bad. Let's um how do I exit this? Exit. I think what I'll do on the next run is I'll switch DLSS and frame generation on whilst we've still got ray tracing on, and then on the third run I'll switch ray tracing off at native. See how that does. So if I go settings, graphics. So Switch DLSS on here, and then you can see current qual uh, current DLSS quality mode. So I think I think it's like 67, isn't it? So you can see it's set to quality here. If you go down, I think 50 is performance, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know actually know what balance would be, what the, the gauge is. Is it like 56 or 7 or something? But I'll leave it at 67 because I think I'm off my top of my memory, that's what DLSS quality would be at. I'll switch on frame generation on as well, and I'll apply that. 
then I'll quickly run it with the, those settings. Should be a lot better. Can we hit 60, though? I think it probably... Will it hit 60? Probably no. I don't think it will, will it? No, not quite 50. Looks a lot more smooth, though, straight away. But that's, I guess that's still over three times the FPS we had. So it's obviously quite a big difference for sure. And it makes it playable. You know, at 50 to 60, it would be somewhat playable. I know a lot of people like way higher. I'm not really entirely sure what kind of game it's like. It's like sort of combat type game, I think, from... I haven't really looked, looked much into it. A bit like Ghost of Tsushima type combat, I guess, maybe. I don't know. You have to let me know. But I guess we'll find out in a couple of days anyway. I think graphics still look good. And no, you can notice the difference in quality, I think, on the water. Especially at the bottom of my screen. It starts to get a little blurry in the water when it's moving. But you'd obviously much rather play it like this than you would at 15 FPS. So a little bit of a bigger range in the FPS here, I think. It's down to 44, back up above 50, but the 0.1% low still doesn't look too bad, 27. Frame time does look a little bit choppy, but there's no huge micro stutters or anything. I was seeing it increase a little bit there. That's quite a big one. And anyway, I guess the lucky thing is that it is Unreal Engine 5, so the VRAM's not that bad. And fingers crossed too that I don't get any crashes on my 4900K because I've had problems with Unreal Engine 5 games before that. But that's that run for at least. Almost hitting 60 there, 58. Let's see what the stats are. Average 49, minimum, there you go, 42. I think max is 60 there. So it's a quite a bigger range of FPS, obviously. But it still doesn't... Even the low there, 43, is not too bad. Definitely doesn't look too bad compared to some Unreal Engine 5 games we've seen. But I'll check it now. If I, I'll go back to native and have a look with ray tracing switched off. See, see how much of a hit the ray tracing is in this. I'm expecting it to. I guess it's probably quite a lot. Uh, if I go... I'll switch that back to 100. Switch this just back to... So we're native. And... So I guess... Look at this, actually. Ray tracing. Full ray tracing. Maybe this is path tracing. Is that what they're referring to? By full ray tracing? This terminology... Mm, it's not quite clear what it is just by the description. So you can obviously switch ray tracing low or very high. I'm going to switch off completely. So it obviously doesn't explicitly say. It says full ray tracing, which some, by definition, is referring to path tracing. Because that is technically full ray tracing. But it doesn't say enough information there to really... It's Unreal Engine 5, so it's normally it's got Lumen, isn't it? I've given it a quick restart, uh, just because when you switch ray tracing off here, you, it says you need it requires a restart for it to take effect. So I did run the benchmark, but it was the same FPS, so I'm assuming it still had ray tracing on, even though I had it switched off. So quick restart, we'll see how it does. Had about what's the average 14 with ray tracing on, 14, 15. So it's looking about just under 30. I thought it'd be a little better than that, if I'm honest. It's about doubled. I guess it's doubled my FPS. But I was expecting 15 FPS hit with ray tracing on. It's not really that bad, is it? 
Well, you know, normally expect it to be like 30 or 40, but I know this is Unreal Engine 5 and it's a little less heavier. But it shows how brutal this game is, even having all the graphics set to cinematic, still getting like 30 FPS at 4K. See, for sure, going to want this, this 4080 Super at least, if you want to play native, you're going to be looking at 1440p with no ray tracing. Big, big start there, look at that, 0.1% like 5 FPS. So frame time definitely looks quite a bit more choppy with ray tracing off. I thought it'd probably go the other way, so it'd look a little better, but it looks just as bad with it switched off. And obviously that big, big start we had, dropping the, the low to 5 FPS. Doesn't look like a huge difference in the hardware either. VRAM's fairly similar, power's fairly similar. See what the stats are like. Average of 30, high 35, minimum 14. Maybe that's when I, it booted in. Point, point, uh, a low fifth of 28 FPS. So not particularly amazing, but like I say, when the game fully comes out, I'll check it out at the other resolutions as well. But for, on this GP, obviously looking at, I mean, a, a 4090, I think we'd probably even struggle here. If you've enjoyed this video, click one of the videos on the screen now to see me testing more GPUs, and I'll catch you next time.